So this is Dad's old Bird Aeris 145. But since he's got the whitey cap for now, he no longer needs it. So he's been super kind and generous and allowing me to use a lot of these parts for the bike build for this Yeti. So this is the first episode of the series. And today we're gonna to be stripping this down, sourcing all the parts and getting them all cleaned up, ready to start the bike build. Start nice and simply by taking off these wheels. So Dad's got these super cool Hope Pro 4 wheels. Absolutely love the Hope stuff. And these are on the Hope Fortis rims. So really nice wide rims for these wide tires. And we've got the Yasser guy on the front. This is a 27 and a half, 2.6 tire. So that's gonna be really good. And we've got obviously tubeless and everything like that. In the future, I'm definitely gonna need some new tires because you see these are starting to crack a little bit. But as I said, this is a second hand build. So we're trucking one for now, have a go with the bike in the future. And then over time we can get it upgraded and make it a bit more fresh. Before I take the rear wheel off, what I'm actually gonna do is just give this chain a bit of a clean up and the drivetrain because I don't know what is up with it, but it is literally like caked in rubbish. Like look at all the grime on this. All over, look at that. Get those brakes nice and protected. Them squealing or anything. No clean. As you can see, the chain already starting to get nice and shiny, and as you can see it here, look at that. Not very nice. That muck of clean is actually really good. It's so easy to use. And this chain was just caked in dirt. And now look at it. Look how shiny it looks now. Nice and fresh. As I said previously, because we've got those protectors on, we can go a bit crazy with the Spray and we don't have to worry. Mostly wanted to get the chain clean just because it's a lot easier to do whilst it's still in the stand and on the wheel. But the rest of it, I can give it a nice power wash once it's off the bike. So let's carry on stripping the bike down. Rear wheel off, and we'll give that a good clean up. Another Hope wheel on the back, got the nice Hope Pro 4 with a lovely sound, so so good. Gone for a Minion DHR2 on this one with 2.4, and probably going to stick with that or may upgrade to a 2.5 or something, but we'll see. But either way, it's going to be cool, especially when we give those hubs a clean up and get that black and orange theme up and running. Next we're going to take the chain off. So look for the quick link, which is here. You can get a proper tool to this, but I have this bit old and rusty electrical wire stripping tool that actually works pretty well. Just like that. There we go. Enough. As for the dropper post, I'm going to have to have a little look at this. It's sort of broken here, and I think that bit's, the barrel just snapped a little bit. So, luckily, with this dropper post, it's a race face one, it's a little bit damaged, but it will still it still functions absolutely fine and it's the exact same size as the Yeti. Now, I'm going to go take off the pedals. Always a fun job for me. I always seem to get a bit confused about which way they go. 
but we're going to do that because even though we're using these pedals and these cranks, it's just good to give everything a proper deep clean and then install it with all new fresh grease and everything like that, keep it nice and fresh. So literally, as I just said, I started doing it the wrong way. But a way that I realized, there's, and I saw a good video on this, if you're, if you put your foot on the pedal, and you can lift upwards. That makes it a bit easier to know which way to take them off. So imagine your foot is on the pedal, and you can just lift upwards. Same with the other side. Lift upwards. There we go. That makes it a much easier technique to know which way you gotta go. Pedal wise, we've got the Crank Brother Stamp 7 pedals, and these are nice and good. Got some big platforms, which is really, really cool. Plenty of pins, give you that good grip on the bike. Now we're going to attempt the cranks, although these tend to always be tight, but I feel them starting to go. There we go. So we've got the SRAM Eagle dub cranks. Nice, always enjoy the SRAM stuff, so it should be really good to get that back on the bike. Spacer. So we've got quite a few components off the bike now. Next stage, gonna take the derailleur off from the gears along with the brakes get some of these cables out of the way. And this is one of the more newer GX Eagle ones. It's got like a slightly wider sort of cage around the jockey wheel, so quite like that. I think it's a bit more chunky and just gives it a bit more protection. Let's take off this protector. It's definitely had some better days. <laughs> Done its job though, to be fair, mostly. Now start snipping off all these cable ties. That's loads of them. A couple more on this side. So I've now detached all the cables from the frame. Don't know why there's just so many cable ties to do, but that's now all of them detached. I'm gonna pull them all the way through, take all the brakes off, and then we can start getting to the last bits. DMR Def Grips, I've uh, found these really, really good. I've got them on my Canyon and I wanna put them, oh no, I've got them on my e-bike as well. And they, yeah, they are really, really good. And it's good to support Brendan Fairclough being a local rider, riding Surrey Hills like we do. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to most people when uh, it's, it's also the worst when you're doing that and then you've got like a, a rounded bolt or something like that. So hopefully that's not the case in our situation. As for the brakes on this bike, we've got the Shimano Dior XT and they've got some really, really good stopping power. But the only thing I found with them is that they don't quite have as much of like the modulation if you just want to sort of reduce the speed a little bit. Both brakes off now. Now we'll take off this bottle cage. I'll have to have to be getting one for the Yeti because thankfully it has got a bottle cage, which is uh, really really cool. Because the Canyon can't have one unfortunately, so you always sort of have to kind of ride with a bag if you want to have a drink. So the bird bike's looking pretty bare now. I think we're going to go for the the stem handlebars and all the forks. Get all of those off and then that'll probably be most of the main components off. For the handlebars and stem, we've got the 35 mil race face atlas bars, and then we've got the race face effect stem. Let's take off this mud guard. We're down to the last major component now. We've got the stem and then we've got the forks. We'll take all that off and then the bike's gonna be pretty much done. Hopefully that hold itself there and not fall out. Taking out the forks. That's it. There we have it. 
got our forks as well. Although these aren't actually the forks that are going to be going on the new bike. You would have probably seen a sneak peek in the uh, intro to this series. So I'm super excited for the forks we've got. So there we have the bird frame all stripped down. We've got all the components off it. We're going to be giving this a nice clean up and then give it back to dad so we can hopefully get it up on his wall somewhere. But as for the components, we've got lots of good components here. As I said, got the Hope wheels that look really nice and stunning. With the orange, that's gonna be the theme of the bike. SRAM Eagle on the cassette, and then SRAM Eagle on the drivetrain. So we're gonna have that nice big ratio, one by like 52 teeth, I think it is now. Race face uh, Atlas bars, race face effect stem, and then stamp pedals, which are really, really cool, I like those. But yeah, as for the brakes, Probably not going to go with the Shimano brakes. As I said on the intro before, I really, really do want to try out something new. And I'm thinking about going for the Hope brakes. I think they look so, so cool. And as I said, as I'm going for the Hope wheels, I mean, on a Yeti frame, the black and the orange, I just think that's going to be so, so nice. I now have a load of the components that I need for the bike build. So I'm going to give them all a good clean up, get them all nice and fresh. And then next episode, we can get the Yeti frame out and actually start putting some of the first components on it. It's going to be so exciting. That is the first episode of the second hand dream build. We've got quite a few of the components we need now. There will be some extras to get along the way, but we're definitely at a point where we can make a start. So next episode, definitely stay tuned because we're going to be putting some of the big components on the new frame. As I said, it's just going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait. As I said before, if you've got any suggestions for the build, make sure to let me know in the comments. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another ride.